What's up guys? Welcome back to Ginger TV. Today we're going to talk about computer engineering programs in specific. So my last video was about engineering. I'm a student in engineering right now. I said engineering four times right now. So bear with me. It might happen throughout the whole video. So yeah, uh, my last video was about engineering as a whole and like my, my experience with it and how, how that did I like it or did not like it. But today I'm going to focus on my specific program, which is computer engineering and what to expect from it and what's the type of classes you receive, the job potential and what's the program description as a whole. To start off, here in Canada, engineering is a four-year degree, and at your last year, you have a final project. So the final project is just a uh, like summary of your whole four years, depending on what engineering you're in. Uh, you take everything you've learned and put it into one final project. So computer engineering, as I mentioned a bit in the last video, computer engineering is the middle ground between electrical and software engineering. It's more leaning towards electrical engineering because we have a lot more like circuitry classes, electronic classes, less software classes. But we also take the fundamental software classes such as data structure and algorithm and operating system and like uh, programming methodology like uh, object oriented programming. And we touch a bit of like a different type of uh, project uh, like, like uh, I have one class where we had to recreate Instagram and it was a really fun class to get like software uh, driven uh, course. Once you graduate, you are under an order. It's called the Order of Engineers and your na province name. So here in Quebec, it's called Order of Engineer of Quebec. In Ontario, it's Order of Engineers of Ontario. And the other province, Order of Engineer of name of province. But it, they, this is like the establishment or like the, the plateau of like where everything is organized in terms of engineering, like the, the laws, rules, the uh, le legislation and everything like this. So uh, in terms of like ethical stuff, in terms of who is junior, who is senior, like the, the rules to follow in terms of how many years you need experience uh, to become a senior or junior engineer. So once you graduate from engineering school, you will receive an iron ring. This iron ring is place on the pinky you are right with. So let's say I'm a right-hander, uh, they're gonna place it on my pinky finger of my right hand. Why is because whenever you are gonna sign a document, it's gonna be the first thing that's gonna touch the paper and you're always reminded of the oath you took uh, like to be a ethical engineer and not like be in any scenario where people's life are at risk. Now let's talk about the type of classes you will see in computer engineering. I'm going to divide it in three subjects. So you're going to have your electrical subject, you're going to have your software subject, and you're going to have your computer stuff subjects. Starting with electrical. In electrical, you're going to have a couple of classes about signals, one or two classes about electronics, and one classes about circuitry that you have to take. You absolutely have to take to like pass the, the degree, but you also can take more classes if you're more interested in electrical stuff. So you can take transmission lines, you can take like more related classes to like uh, circuitry, electronics too, if you want. Uh, but yeah, like it's big part of engine uh, computer engineering is having an electrical component. The software component is less major in the electric uh, uh, in the computer engineering degree, but it's still present. So like I mentioned before, we also have like a data structure algorithm, uh, object oriented programming, uh, we have uh, uh, operating system, and we have other classes like little project here and there to introduce us to different type of programming. So let's say uh, I'm in computer engineering L last semester, I had a project about creating an Android app and it was really fun and it introduced me to Java, uh, how to use Android Studio, but it wasn't like a class where you learn how to code so they give you a project and then you learn on your own honestly there's a lot of self-teaching in engineering uh, i've realized this in my past four years that yes i can't, i'm using youtube more than i should and yeah it's totally okay like i learn better on myself sometimes because some teachers explanation are not the best for me or like like i don't find them as uh interesting or as like helping helpful as others but it's okay, like as at the end of the day, if you understand what you're doing and you understand the concepts, that's all what matters. Now the computer engineering classes are really what I really enjoy and love. So if you're into like computer components, CPUs and all of this, this is what like you're gonna really enjoy because they're gonna talk about stuff you, you already know. And so yeah, like this is the classes where you're gonna have about networking, different type of protocols, like talking about Wi-Fi, security and all of this sort. 
Uh, you can also learn about low-level languages such as assembly or VHDL, so like uh, programming languages that program the hardware itself and not like software program. Another important class in computer engineering is the digital system design. So this is where you're going to learn about the different gates inside a computer, so like your OR gate, your AND gate, your XOR gate, and all of these uh, other gates related stuff. I, I honestly forgot it's been two years, so please give me some slack. But yeah, it's really fun. Uh, courses in the computer engineering so if you're into like hardware I really suggest you going into computer engineering you'll really enjoy it. Finally you're gonna have your engineering specific classes so this is the classes where all the type of engineers are combined into one it's not projects or anything of this sort it's just like classes where all engineers have to take so it's different classes of math so call 3, call 4, uh, uh, statistics, engineering ethics, uh, environment and engineers uh, and the others and many many more so it's for me they're a bit redundant so some programs don't really need them but i mean you need to pass these classes to get your degree at the end of the day and some people might find them fun some people might find them annoying but to me they were on the annoying part now as a computer engineer you, we are very lucky so we have a different path that we can take so we're in the middle ground like i said before between electrical and software so we're very lucky uh, what we can do for jobs is we can choose either or and we can also choose the specifics of computer engineering so if you're really good in le like your electrical classes and you took like, like the electrical component uh, when you're graduating so let's like, say you took more electives in electrical and not like software you can go and do like electrical jobs and do like uh, uh, hardware design or hardware testing or anything of this sort or you can, if you took like more software classes and uh, enjoy software more, you can go ahead and take software classes. Uh, computer engineering classes in the middle, they are some, but they're not as much as electrical and software. Of course, if you're going to take the software classes and really enjoy software, you're going to have an infinite amount of job postings. Like, honestly, I was looking for an internship recently and yeah, for a computer engineering, there is like specific when you talk about uh, compu computer hardware or anything of this sort, it's very hard to find a job. Like it's not as easy as software. Software, like you can find a job in two days and you have an inter uh, interview like multiple. I have friends that when it's like internship season, they go on like 10, 15 interviews. Uh, I went on three interviews in my computer hardware specific. I wasn't really interested in computer software i wasn't really interested in electrical i went into computer hardware and yeah but then i started liking software because i saw the market is in demand and i find something that i really enjoy in software so if you're in computer engineering be prepared to be talented or work hard and be good in one of these two or the, both of them of course or in your computer engineering specific but finding a job might be more difficult in the computer engineering specific classes uh, but yeah it's like we're lucky honestly to have the option to select from both uh, spectrum of uh, the line all right guys so that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it i did really enjoy my last video that i did about uh, engineering experience as a whole and today i just wanted to dig a bit deeper about my computer engineering experience uh, uh, specifically so yeah it was really fun doing this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and drop a like down below it really helps me out we're almost at 300 subscribers i'm very thankful for every single one of you yes you you so yeah uh black friday just ended so i have a lot of products to review i just got myself a new keyboard so that's coming soon just a little teaser it's coming soon but yeah subscribe so you don't miss out <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.